Hello and welcome to my class. In this video, I am going to talk about the zoology syllabus of BSc third year, fifth semester under Punjab University, Chandigarh. This syllabus is for the session 2019-20. If the syllabus changes for the 2020-2021 session, then I will upload another video. The zoology subject for semester 5 is divided into two papers. The first paper is developmental biology and the second paper is applied zoology. I'm going to talk about this applied zoology paper. This paper is further divided into three options. So in my college, we teach only the second option, which is the economic entomology and pest management. So here I'm going to discuss the syllabus for economic entomology and pest management paper. So when you study this subject, you will learn about insects which are beneficial to our economy as well as those which are harmful to our economy. In the fifth semester, we will emphasize on insects that are harmful to our economy. So we will learn about insects that can cause economic loss by damaging our crops and vegetables in the field and for stored crops. And then we will also learn about insects that can cause disease in humans and in domesticated animals. This whole paper is divided into four units. The unit one is the most elaborate one. Here we will start with introduction to entomology with various orders. So here in this topic, we will talk about what are insects, what is the study of insects or entomology? How insects are divided into various orders? What are the examples for those orders? Then we will talk about comparative studies of mouth parts in grasshopper, honeybee, butterfly, red cotton bug, housefly, and mosquito. The feeding habit of all these animals of all these insects are very different and depending on their feeding habit, they have very different mouth parts as well. So we will take a comparative approach towards their mouth parts and we will compare all their mouth parts and study about them. Then we will talk about the major modifications in the antennae and legs of insects. Depending on the habits, and the environment of the insects, they show different modifications in their antennae and legs. So we are going to learn about those. Then we will talk about the development of insects and different type of metamorphosis along with study of different kinds of larvae and pupae. Insects have mainly two types of metamorphosis, the incomplete metamorphosis and the complete metamorphosis. So we will take another comparative approach and we will talk about these two types of metamorphosis and we will also learn about different larvae and pupae found in different types of insects. Then we will learn the pest biology for sugarcane and cotton in this unit. For sugarcane, we will learn about Pinella purpusilla. Please check here for the correct spellings. And then sugarcane top border or Scirpophaga nivella, sugarcane stem border or Chilo infascatellus. For cotton, we will learn about pink bollworm or Pectinophora gossypiella, red cotton bug or Disdarchus cingulatus, cotton grey weevil or Mylocerus maculosus, maculosus, then surface grasshopper or Crotogonus tracheopterus cotton jacid or empoasca devastates. Now there are total eight pests in the theory syllabus. Only sugarcane leafhopper or pyrilla purpusilla and pink bollworm or pectinophora gossypiella is also in your practical syllabus. For all these insects, you have to learn the systematic position, habits and nature of damage. But for Pyrilla purpusilla and for Pectinophora gossypiella, you also have to learn their life cycle and control measures. Then in unit 2, we will learn about the pests of paddy, wheat and vegetables. For paddy, we will learn about rice gandhi bug or Leptocoryza varicornis, rice grasshopper or Hieroglyphus banyan and rice hispa or Dicladispa armigera. Then for wheat, we will talk about wheat stem border or sesamia inferens, termites or microtermis obesi, 
then aphids or microsiphon discanthi. Then we will also learn about jacids or ambrasca species. Then for vegetables, we will learn about red pumpkin beetle or Olacophora phobicollis, pumpkin fruit fly or Dacus cucurbitae, and hadda beetle or Epilacna viginti octopunctata. Now, out of all this, you only have to learn about Leptocoriza vericornis and Hieroglyphus banyan and Dacus cucurbitae for your practical as well. For Leptocoriza vericornis, Sesamia inferens, and uh, for Dacus cucurbitae, you also have to learn their life cycle and control measures. For all others, you just have to learn their systematic positions, identification marks, and nature of damage. Okay, unit 3 is the easiest one. Here you only have to learn about pests of stored grains. For them, you have to learn about their systematic position, habits, nature of damage. Uh, that's it for these six pests. So we have pulse beetle or Calosobrucus maculatus. Then uh, for this one, we have to learn their life cycle and control. Then we have to learn about rice weevil or Cytophilus oryzae. Capra beetle or Trogoderma ganarium, then rust red flower beetle or Tribolium castaneum. Please check the spellings here. Lesser grain borer or Rhizopartha dominica, and rice moth or Corsera cephalonica. Now, the first five are also in your practical syllabus. Then, for unit four, we will talk about the systematic position, disease cost, and control of the following insects of medical and veterinary importance. So, some of these insects cause disease in humans, and some cause damage to our domesticated animals. So, we will talk about the life cycle. Uh, for housefly, for all others, we will learn only systematic position, disease cost, and control. So, we have to learn about mosquitoes. In mosquito, we have to learn about these three genus, Anopheles, Culex, and Edis, how to identify them, as well as their systematic position, disease cost, etc. Then, we will talk about the sandfly or Phlebotomus minutus, then housefly, Horsefly, blowfly, wobblefly, then poultry louse, sucking louse, and fleas. So, mosquitoes of all three genus, housefly, horsefly, blowfly, and wobblefly, these are in your practical syllabus as well. For the theory, you have to learn about their systematic position, disease cost, and control measures. And for only Musca domestica or housefly, you have to learn their life cycle. Okay. Your question paper will be divided into five parts. You have to answer five questions. Okay. In your question paper, there will be nine questions, but you have to answer only five questions. So the first question is the compulsory short questions. Each question will carry one mark. There will be eight questions. So, you get eight marks for the first question. Then for unit 1, 2, 3 and 4, in the question paper, there will be two questions each. You have to answer only one question. Okay. So, there will be seven marks for each of these questions. You have to answer four such questions, one from each unit. So, 4 into 7 equal to 28 marks. And from the first question, you get 8 marks. So, total question paper will be of 36 marks. Let's talk about the practical syllabus now. I have already shown you the insects which are in the practical syllabus. So, for practical, we only have to learn the external morphology and identification marks of pests of crops and vegetables. Here you have to learn about Pyrilla parcosilla, Pectinophora gossypiella, Leptocoriza varicornis, Hieroglyphus banyan, and Dacus curvitae. For external morphology and identification marks of Cytophilus oryzae, Tribolium castaneum, Dizopartha dominica, Trogoderma granarium, Calosobrucus maculatus. Okay. Then here, although the spelling is wrong, it is Calosobrucus maculatus. Okay. 
So for third part, we have to learn the external morphology and identification marks of the following importance of following insects of medical and veterinary importance. Mosquitoes of all three genus, housefly, blowfly, wobblefly and horsefly. And then you have to study the different types of larvae and pupae of insects through slides or charts, etc. And we will do a project on the study of life cycle of any moan insect. This is the guideline for the practical examination. Your practical exam will be of 20 marks and the exam will be of 18 marks. Internal assessment will be for 2 marks. Okay. In the practical part, this is the part where your developmental biology questions will be asked, these two questions. Then for VIVA, you have two marks. For practical notebook and project report, you would have two marks. And from the option two paper, you will have to identify the three specimens, one each for the crop of, uh, pest of crop, pest of store grain, and you have to uh, write there out one outstanding character. So you have to identify three pests of crop and stored grains and you have to write one outstanding character for each of them. Then you also have to identify uh, the specimen of slide G where it will be of one outstanding morphological character and medical of and of medical or veterinary importance. So you have to either identify a specimen or identify a slide. This slide could be a mouth part or an antenna or a type of leg. And here you would be the you have to identify the specimen of uh, medical or veterinary importance. So you have to identify it and write one outstanding character. That's pretty much it and uh, hope you like this video. I'm going to make individual videos for each of these topics. Uh, please watch those for learning about them.